Everybody needs a jigsaw, but does the 12 volt cordless deliver enough power for your needs? We'll find out when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Skill 12 volt brushless jigsaw. Now, stop right there. If you haven't seen the new Skill tools, don't have any preconceived notions of any old Skill tools that you know of. Try these things out. I'm telling you, they're night and day compared to their past. So again, these new Skill tools are much different than the older ones. This is a brand new tool. This is a barrel grip 12 volt brushless tool. And it's supposed to have a lot of power, actually. We use it and you'll find out in just a moment. But anyway, let's get right to it. Let's talk about a lot about the features. And by the way, we'll put right here a jump to straight to the features, as well as you be able to jump straight to the, to the end use portion of it as well. And then we'll come back here, give you our thoughts on the tool, and we'll wrap up the review. This is the Skill 12 volt brushless jigsaw. Obviously cordless, runs off the 12 volt uh, battery platform from Skill. Uh, simple on off switch, but what you do have is a speed dial here um, and you get five speeds and the auto mode we'll show you the auto mode here in a moment when we actually use this uh, but it is a brushless tool so even though it's on a 12 volt system the brushless motor is really going to give you a lot of power and again we'll show you that here in a moment a very handy small barrel grip style jigsaw i really like barrel grips because you can handle them very well and maneuver them very well more so than a d-handle i think some people like the d-handle but I like that barrel grip. Uh, you can grip, grip this very easily. I know I have larger hands, but even small handed person can still grip this very easy. Uh, you have three different orbit modes, really four. So you have basically non-orbit where it's just going to go straight up and down. And then one, two, and three are going to give you increasingly more or more aggressive uh, orbit, if you will. Uh, also have a keyless blade insertion or a keyless blade change. Um, so you can see with no blade in here, I can simply push this blade in and make sure I get it lined up on my roller and then pull this ring back and insert that blade and now it's in there. So I don't have to use an Allen wrench. I don't have to use any type of tool whatsoever. I don't even have to flip a lever. I can just pull that ring back. It's the same to pull it out. Just pull the ring back and then that pulls the blade out. Now it comes with a, uh, a wood blade as well it comes with a metal blade as well or a fine tooth blade so you get a pretty coarse tooth a uh, more aggressive tooth and you get a fine tooth for cutting uh, metals as well and I'll be using that for both um, and it's a really quick and handy little saw uh, you have an adjustable foot here as well uh, with the included now that does require a key or it requires a tool and so an allen key or an uh, allen wrench here on the tool itself that you know pops right there on the side you can pull that off uh, you can loosen this up and then once you get this broken free now you can look down here slide this in and adjust this where you need it maybe i need to loosen a little bit more there we go and now i can adjust this to whatever degrees i want to clamp that back, slide it back, lock it into place, and then clamp it back down and we're good to go. Let me put it back on the zero. And that locks it back down into place. Now we've got a nice square foot there again. Put my wrench back. Now you can get this in the kit form. Um, you know, let me put my wrench back there. It comes with a 12 volt, two amp hour battery. Uh, one of the nice things about this battery, I'll touch on that here in a moment again, but you have a USB port right there on the battery. You wanna charge a smart device, something like that. When you're not using this, you can do so. So really handy to have around without any kind of adapter whatsoever. You can get this kitted with this two amp hour battery and you get the charger as well. Um, and by the way, you have a USB port on the charger also. Uh, and that's like 129 for this tool, battery, and charger. And again, it is a brushless tool. Now, they call it the 12 volt brushless uh, power core jigsaw, uh, but actual model number is uh, JS5833A-00 is the actual model number if you wanna know that. Let's actually use this and uh, check out the different speeds as well as the auto mode, and then we'll wrap up this review. Would you do us a quick favor? 
Would you hit that like and subscribe button? Give us that thumbs up if you like this video. By all means, if you didn't like the video, give us a thumbs down, but would you let us know in the comments why? Also, if you click that bell notification, that's gonna let you know when new videos are available. Back to the video. When you're looking at buying into a new uh, power tool platform, do not discount the battery and charger technology. Uh, preferably go with a manufacturer that does manufacture their own batteries uh, and does a good job of it, as well as the chargers. Uh, like in this case, Skills Power Core uh, Power Jump System, this will charge a battery from zero, at least the two amp hour, zero to 25% in just five minutes. So you could stick this thing in the charger and in five minutes at least have something left where you can uh, finish a job or something like that. Also, you'll notice on a lot of their batteries, they're including now a USB port right here on the battery itself as well as on the charger here you have a usb port as well so you can charge smart devices uh things like that so really handy to have whether it be on your charger or on the battery itself but again do not discount battery and charger technology when you're looking at buying into a power tool platform okay so i just filmed a whole segment without filming so anyway we just made all these cuts which were our first cuts uh with the uh with the skill power saw um, with the skill jigsaw. So I'm gonna flip this board around and we'll make these same cuts again. And I apologize for the camera not working. It's not my fault though. It's uh, the producer's fault, of course. So we flip this around and we'll just go ahead and trace these back out. These weren't real critical jigs that I was building. Um, so it's not a big deal. They don't have to be perfect is what I'm saying, but they were just some uh, jigs that I was building that I needed uh, some wood cut out here and then this one here. There we go. Okay, so uh, we inserted our, our wood blade here, which by the way, you can see that we've used it quite a bit now. Uh, so just as we showed you on the features, easy just to pull back that ring and insert the bit there. And then that locks it into place. No tools needed whatsoever. Uh, we're gonna start on the auto mode. So you can see what we have on the auto mode here. And we'll see what, what's gonna happen here when we start this cut. By the way, you see the big LED light ring here. It really makes that nice to be able to see your cut even while you're cutting. Uh, it's just a really nice feature there. So you see it starts very, very slow. It's a very slow opening. And then I can get into the cut. And make sure I'm starting my cut in the right place. And once it senses that there's some pressure on it, you'll see in a second. So you see, once it sensed that I was into the cut, into the wood, then it sped that up. So once it sensed I kind of had control of it, I was starting to get in the wood, it felt the pressure, it actually sped that up. Now I'm gonna switch to my left hand here. By the way, I'm right-handed. I'm gonna start this jig cut.
So you see we're heating our blade up, making those tight turns. Uh, and that did still rather well. Very easy to maneuver this. Again, trying to make those tight turns with this blade. There are other blades that can make those tighter turns, make it a little easier. Uh, but as far as the tool, plenty of power, even though it's only a 12 volt tool. It's still powered through these, you know, what's that, a one by uh, pressure treated wood there to make those cuts rather easily. Now, in these couple of straight cuts here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on in orbit mode. I'm gonna go, go on speed two. So you see it's gonna have some orbit to it as well, should make that cut rather quickly. I'm gonna still leave it in auto. Yeah, really helps on that straight cut. See, it's pretty aggressive too. You see it's kind of ripping some wood out there. Turn that down to one. That works really, really well. Uh, as aggress aggressive as you want to be. Um, so, you know, three is probably going to really rip through. And you see there, once we bite into the wood, it really doesn't have a lot of vibration at all. Let's go, yeah, let's go on speed three here and we'll go to speed five rather than leave it in on auto. And uh, we'll just see if we can't power through. No problem at all. Very easy. And again, for a 12 volt tool to muscle through like that. Now let's change this out and let's uh, see how hot this blade is. There we go. So easy to take that out. We'll take our metal blade, put it in, locked into place here. And let's uh, put up some metal here and see how well it cuts. I just grabbed a piece of aluminum diamond plate here. And uh, again, I got my metal blade in. We're gonna turn that down, turn the orbit off and see how well it does here. Let me do this. You'll see what aluminum likes to do. It likes to fill up your blade. So let me get some lube. And we'll lay a little bit of lube down, down there. See if that doesn't help clean that blade out. Yeah, so that's like 3 16 inch aluminum plate. Cut through that, no problem at all. And again, have to keep in mind with aluminum, it likes to fill your blade uh, with little pieces of aluminum so it doesn't cut anymore. Um, that's probably what I did in the very beginning. Now let's take that down and we'll put a piece of eighth inch plate in here. And let's turn our speed down a little bit. There we go. So even cut an eighth inch plate, uh, it will cut it. I would say it's probably not the best tool for doing that, but again, you can get blades that are probably better apt at doing that. And I might've even affected my blade when I was cutting that aluminum, but it will cut that. Cutting sheet metal, it's gonna be a breeze. 
So here's just some sheet metal and we'll see here. So yeah, cutting sheet metal is not gonna be a problem at all. Uh, definitely cutting wood for jigs and things like that. But just a very handy tool, especially for a 12 volt brushless tool. tool it really has a lot of power, uh, a lot of good features as well. So the answer is yes, the skill 12 volt power core brushless jigsaw has enough power to do the things we need a jigsaw to do in our shop. Now, if you're a carpenter, if you're a, you know, a cabinet builder, uh, if you're a woodworker by trade, there may be a reason why you want to spend five or six hundred dollars on a jigsaw. You know, you want that ultimate low vibration. You want plenty of power. Maybe you want 18 volts, so, you know, a little more runtime. Maybe you want a plug in tool. There's a lot of those things why you want to step up your game. For most of us, usually we're grabbing a jigsaw to do quick work, uh, to do small projects, things like that. And for this tool to be able to muscle through everything we did, it's a great tool for us. You know, I don't want the, the hassle of a cord, you know, having to dig that out, plug it in somewhere, dig out an extension cord, whatever. So having a small tool, and I love a barrel grip jigsaw as well. I think it's a lot easier to maneuver around than the typical, you know, D handle. Um, so I like that about the tool as well. Uh, I like the fact that I can plug a USB into the charger, I can plug a USB into the battery itself. Um, and vibration was very minimal. Again, most of the vibration was coming from just not having the wood braced up or the metal braced up rather than the tool itself. Very smooth and easy to operate. And most of all, this is not breaking the bank. $129, you're all in. So you're getting a charger that's a very good charger. Uh, you're getting a battery, by the way, just one battery. I know we're showing two here, but that's not the case. In the kit, you're getting the charger, the battery, and the tool for $129. And if you register the tool, it's a five-year warranty. So again, to be in that whole platform for just a little over 100 bucks, that's really a great deal. And again, if you haven't checked out new skill tools, be sure you do, because again, they're night and day different uh, from the old skill tools that you may be used to. Lots of features on this. Again, a great value, so make sure you check them out. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great day and keep smiling.